everyone. Welcome back to Jabara. It's Barb. So today we're going to start here in the kitchen like we usually do. Uh, we're going to be cleaning the dishes. We're going to be cleaning off the island, wiping everything down. I also needed to clean the restroom and our bedroom. And then I'm going to take you outside like I showed you on the previews and we're going to do some work out there. It felt so good to go outside and work. I haven't done it in so long and it just, it felt so good to get my body moving and be out there with nature and the sun, just doing our thing. Uh, we're clearing some trees and it's a lot of hard work, but it's totally worth it. Um, we're gonna be doing some different stuff out there. I'll be taking y'all out there for more things. But yeah, I just had a lot to do. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show y'all la receta de mi suegra de caldo de polo. In English, that is my mother-in-law's recipe for some chicken soup. It is uh, very, very good, and I can't wait to show y'all that. But first, we gotta get these dishes washed, we gotta get these counters cleaned, and all the things. So I hope y'all are ready for this motivation. I hope everyone's doing well. Let me know down in the comments if you're here and what you're up to. Now we're going to start here in the bathroom and get it all cleaned up before we clean the bedroom. It was a mess in here. I had just been throwing things around and doing whatever, just been rushing uh, with karate and extra stuff like that. Uh, just a lot going on and I just rush sometimes and I just try to get ready as fast as I can and then I just throw everything and that's just how it usually goes for me. So anyway, I needed to get all this cleaned up and put back in the 
drawers and I needed to wipe down these counters, clean the sinks, and then we're also going to clean the bathtub in here and get it all nice and tidy. And then we'll head over and clean the bedroom. Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful
So now we're just about done with this. I'm just gonna finish making the bed and then we will vacuum the floors and then we will head outside. So I'm thinking um, as I'm doing this voiceover right now, the house is a complete disaster because like I said, I went outside and we did work and I've just been kind of like taking some time for myself. I feel like sometimes I need to do that because I will get um, very obsessed with work and I just don't take time out for to reconnect with everything and reconnect with everyone. So I needed to do that for myself, but the house is a complete disaster and I was thinking I'm going to go ahead and do a big clean today after this voiceover and then I really want to start taking all of the fall stuff down already. I know it's not even November yet, but I'm really thinking that I want to decorate early this year just because I want to. So um, I'm thinking around the first weeks of November, I'll start taking everything down and getting the Christmas stuff out because I really want to see what I need to make. I kind of waited till last minute with the fall decor and I haven't had time to make things that I wanted. So I really want to start making some stuff for the Christmas decor. So I think we're going to do that too. Um, but yeah, let me know how y'all are feeling about that. I know it's very early, but for YouTube, we do like to try to get things early done early for y'all. So that way we can give y'all ideas if we find any DIYs or anything like that. So anyway, let me know when do y'all decorate for Christmas and all that fun stuff. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down these nightstands and clean off our table in front of the TV. It was absolutely crazy. My husband does do some like leather work every now and then and the mess just kind of piles up. We don't really, like I've said before a hundred times, I, we don't have a lot of storage in this house. So it's hard to just maintain everything. It looks like we have a lot of stuff because we don't have a lot of places uh, to put things, but we try to keep it as organized as possible. It's just kind of difficult. And we're just at that stage in our life where we're very busy and um, it's a lot like having three kids and homeschooling and like I said, karate and just trying to keep the ranch maintained. It's, it's a lot of work. So Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put these clothes away. Uh, a lot of times I will wash clothes and I will put some away and then some will just get hung on chairs and thrown in chairs and, you know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I do have my moments where I'm just lazy. There are sometimes when I have no excuse for the house to be dirty, I just don't want to do it. So anyway, I'm not trying to say that I always have an excuse for my house to be messy, but yeah, every now and then it just gets like this and I've, I've grown to love it and deal with it and um, just I enjoy it. I enjoy having a clean home. Uh, we've talked about this too. I enjoy it being clean but at the same time I don't put so much pressure on myself like I used to and um, yeah I just try to enjoy things a little more. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then we will head outside and I will show y'all some of the work we did. You said that you needed me Like a cargo, you were carrying me
So a lot of y'all asked to go outside, and so now I'm going to start taking y'all outside. It is not pretty right now. We are doing a lot of work on the place. We are trying to get the pastures cleared out. We had just, uh, the mesquite has taken over the mesquite trees. These are the ones that have the big thorns on them, and they will mess you up. So anyway, you have to wear gloves and jeans and boots and all the things. And this is just what I normally look like if I'm doing work outside. I just have my boots on, my jeans, some gloves and a hat, and I go at it. I really, really enjoy hard work. I always have. Um, since I was young, uh, I would work on my work in my grandparents' um, watermelon patch. We would have to go out and cut watermelons and load them up on the trailer to take them to the highway to sell. And then I worked on a grass farm for a long time. I've done a lot of work that's just outside work. So I'm used to it. I like it. It feels really, really good. I know a lot of people dread it. And there are times when I dread it. But once I'm out there and I'm actually doing it, it feels so, so good. And just to be outside and just be alone with your thoughts. And I wasn't, I don't know, it was just really relaxing and nice to be outside. <laughs> it was so windy on this day, the camera kept falling. So I kept having to move it. But I did try to get as much as a, of this as I could. And like I said, this is an ongoing project. So I'll be bringing y'all out more and doing some things outside so we can get it all done. And yeah, it should be fun. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep pulling some more trees. And then we will go inside and I'll show you all that recipe. So some of the trees, the roots, they don't get them all the way with the excavator. So they have to come back and do it again, or uh, we have to use the saw. But you can see my husband back there. He's still back there taking all the trees down. And we were just coming through and pulling them out and just clearing the way. So anyway, like I said, we still have a lot of work to do. Y'all can see all the trees that we need to pull. And it's going to be a lot, but we got quite a bit done with my father-in-law and my husband um, helping and my mother-in-law keeping the kids and doing all the things at the house. We definitely got quite a bit done, but it's just an ongoing process. It's, there's never, there's never not something to do here on the ranch. So anyway, we're never bored, always a lot of projects, but anyway, we're almost done with this. And then we're going to go inside and work on that, that recipe. We're going to make the caldo de polo. It is so good, y'all. My Spanish is horrible. I I can understand some. I can't really speak it well. I try and I try, but it's just not something that it just never goes well for me. But I'm still going to keep trying to learn. Um, but first, like, you're going to cut up your chicken. My mother-in-law had already cut up the chicken. And now uh, we're putting it in the pot. We're going to put some water. We're just going to cover the chicken with water. 
and we're going to let that boil. I think it was for about 30 minutes. We put it on high and let that boil really good. And then we will move on to the next step. Think about me because I'm starting to doubt we so you're just gonna let that boil for 30 minutes on high like I said and then once that's done turn it down and you're gonna get the impurities out I was using a spoon it is easier to use the other thing that I use I'll show you all that in just a minute but anyway you want to get all of that out of there so we're gonna do that now going to go ahead and wash all the vegetables we got this pack of vegetables at heb it's a grocery store here in texas and i think it was 14.95 for these veggies um but it's neat because everything's pretty much ready for you you just need to cut up the potatoes and the cabbage and the uh, i did peel the carrots i don't know if you have to peel the carrots i know some people don't but i just Pull the carrots and I will show y'all in order how we put all these in. My mother-in-law was actually instructing me the whole time because I have never made this. It's always been one of my favorites, but I have never made it. So I wanted to try it. And I'm so glad we did because uh, our son, JC, he just turned 10. He just had his birthday as well. Um, he tried some and he said that was the best soup he'd ever had. So <laughs> I'm glad we made it. And it's nice because you can make it in bulk and you can freeze it. So that way, if you have a really cold winter day or whatever, you don't want to cook, you don't want to go to the store, you just have it in the freezer and you can defrost it and throw it in a pot. And it, it tastes even better than it did when you first made it because all those seasonings have had time to marinate. But Anyway, definitely, definitely recommend this recipe. Right now, I'm just cutting the potatoes into quarters, and I'm going to throw those in there. Um, like I said, I was following my mother-in-law's instruction. She had actually went to town, and so I was calling her, asking her, what do I do next? And um, she's just so good about teaching me things, which really means a lot, so I can pass it down to my kids, um, especially with the culture and everything. I want them to have that part with them forever. So anyway, I'm glad that she's here to teach me all these things so I can pass it down to the kids. But anyway, now I'm going to go, I put the corn in and the potatoes in. She said to put those in first because they're the hardest and they're not going to get soft. So I needed to also put the carrots in because they're a harder vegetable as well. So basically you want to put what's going to take longer to get soft in first and uh, so yeah we're gonna do that now feeling so lonely when you never phone me i put your picture on my window said to make myself feel all right but i knew it would not be easy spending time apart and i almost can't believe it believe that you're gone and i don't think this will get better until you come around i guess that Now we're going to go ahead and cut the cabbage really quick. You kind of want to make it big chunks because it is going to wither down while it's cooking. And then we're going to cut some um, onion and celery as well. Um, 
the other the other vegetable that green one there I can't remember what it's called now and she told me and I can't remember what it's called but anyway if you buy the pack it'll come with it and I'm sure you can go to the grocery store and just look and find the vegetable that looks like that but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut the onion now and like I said everything's pretty easy to chop because it's gonna be in big pieces um, because you are gonna let this cook for a little while after you get everything put in but like I said, it turned out so, so good. She does use, um, the, she does do her own spices when she makes hers, but she said this would be easier for me since I have the kids and I'm just trying to throw something together really quick. And it's pretty much the same thing with the, um, seasonings that I used. So I'll show y'all those in just a minute, but we're going to go ahead and chop this celery up and throw it in as well. Now we're going to add a little bit more water um, just so everything's submerged and it can cook well and we're going to give it a stir. We're also going to add the seasoning on this step. So and with this recipe you want to go in steps like this so that way you put your harder vegetables in, let them cook for a little while, then you're going to put your um, cabbage and your softer veggies in, let them cook for a little while, and then last you're going to put your squash uh, but now I'm putting in, this is tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. And I'm going to say that's at least, I would say three tablespoons. Um, let me know what y'all think, but I think that's at least three tablespoons. And then we're going to stir that all together. And then we're going to add in um, about, I think it's maybe a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons, probably a tablespoon and a half of chicken bouillon. So um, I think you can get these just about anywhere, but they just really come in handy when you're making um, Mexican food, um, authentic Mexican food. They really come in handy because they have a lot of the spices in them and uh, the seasonings in them that you need for that flavor. But anyway, now we're going to stir that all together and then we tasted it to make sure it was right and it tasted delicious. So Anyway, we're just about done with it. Like I said, we just need to add the squash and we're going to add a jalapeno in there. If you want it to be hotter, like we let that cook down and then uh, you want to add the squash after that so it doesn't get too soft and mushy because it'll just wither apart and be really mushy. So you'd want to put that in and you only want to cook it for about 10 minutes after you put this in. Um, but like I said, if you want it spicier, you can cut the jalapeno in half or um, if you don't want it that spicy, you can leave it whole. I knew JC would be trying this, so I didn't want to make it too spicy. My husband doesn't really like spicy, spicy food either, so it was good like this. But anyway, it was absolutely delicious. If y'all try it, let me know down in the comments um, if you would try something like this. Like I said, it is so good, especially on a cold winter day. This is going to come in handy because we can just heat it up really quick and it's already thrown together. So uh, yeah, like I said, let me know if you want to try it. And thanks to my mother-in-law for sharing this recipe with us. And if you try it, like I said, I hope you enjoy it and let us know. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it got you motivated and inspired to get some stuff done. I will see you on the next one. I love you all. Take care of each other. Bye, guys.